Kid, Kid, why, just look at you. Ugh, you've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Uh, Grandpa, that was yesterday. Was it? <laughs> anyway, you two just keep getting bigger and bigger. Hey, Grandpa, can we make up a story together? Sure. About a giant. Who keeps growing and growing. Oh, that sounds fun. And what should we call it? I know, a giant problem. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young giant who was really into fancy clothes. Looking good. I'm a giant of fashion, a fashion giant, a designer's dream, a giant client. I got giant moves and giant rhymes with hooks. You'll be seeing my looks in the history books. Spectacular. Simply sensational. Who's the designer? It's the latest from the House of Huge. But this giant had one giant problem. He just kept growing and growing until... I see London, I see France, I see giants underpants. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be right back. So the giant went back to get a bigger and even more fabulous outfit. I didn't think it was possible to look even more fantastic. But somehow, I've done it again. Dazzling. Daring. Right. Is it really a Calvin Colossal? None other. And it was made just my size. But not for long, because the giant started growing again. <laughs> <laughs> nice underwear. Yeah. What am I going to do? There's nothing left for me in the big, tall, and massive shop. I've outgrown it all. We should make clothes for the giant. Yeah, we can be fashion designers. I'll be bulky. And I'll be Jigunda. Of Bulky and Jigunda. The coolest fashion designers in the kingdom. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Long sleeves. Great sleeves. Shoulder pads. Vintage plaids. High tech turtleneck. Turtleneck? Oh, what the heck? Some fancy pants. So he can dance. And purple sneaks. He can wear for weeks. Well, what do you think? Is it fabulous? No, it's fantabulicious. So how does it fit? Perfectly. Not anymore. Even for a giant, this guy is big. Hey, giant. How big are you going to get? Well, my daddy's as big as a house, so I guess as big as a house. We better plan ahead this time. Right. Since the giant will end up growing as big as a house, we need to make him an outfit that's house-sized. But he's not house-sized. Not yet, but he will be. So, how does this one fit? It's a little baggy. Not for long. Three, two, one, ta-da! Perfect. Amazing. Astonishing. Wow, who's the designer? Who else? Bulky and Jagunda, the leaders in Lederhosen. And from then on, the giant and the designers understood that it's best to plan ahead. Why, just look at you. Have you grown since the last time I saw you? Just my belly. But luckily it isn't growing as fast as this plant is. You need to get a bigger pot. Maybe one as big as a house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. What should we do now, kittens? I vote we take a nap. <sighs> a nap? I want to make up a story. Me too. Well, that's two votes for a story and just one for a nap. So, story it is. What should it be about? A giant. 
with three eyes. No, with three heads. Who never agree. Agreed. And I know just what to call it. Three who never agree. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a giant with three heads named Boris, Morris, and Horace. And they could never agree on anything. Let's take a tricycle ride. I don't want to. I want to clip our toenails. Well, we, we don't. don't. Hmm. All right, we, we can, can make, make a spaghetti, spaghetti cake. No, I want us to catch a dust ball on our tongues. Well, well we don't. Hmm. All, All right, right, let's, let's watch, watch the, the news, news on TV. TV. I don't want to. I want to listen to the news on the radio. Well, well we don't. don't. Hmm. And because they couldn't agree on how to get the news, the giant never found out that flying in outer space, there was a problem, a giant problem, a meteor made of... Cabbage! No, ice cream! You're both right, cabbage ice cream. And it was headed straight for their house. Are they gonna find out before it's too late? Not unless somebody goes and tells them. That can be us. Yeah, we better hurry. Go, kitty kitties, let's go. Boris! Boris! Morris! How are you? No time to explain. Look! A meteor is headed right toward your house. Run. Ah! We're going to die! We're going to die! Stop! You have to calm down and figure out what to do. What can we do? You can move your house. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have to, to move. move. I agree entirely. We have to move. Wow, we all want the same thing. Put it there. You all agree. Great. Well, let's, let's move, move east to, to Stinky, Stinky Forest. Forest. East? No. Let's move west to Mosquito Lake. West? Yes. Then, then we're, we're not, not moving, moving anywhere. anywhere. Me neither. <laughs> you guys, uh, guy, which is it? Guy. No, guy. There's no time to disagree. Look. Ice, Ice cream. cream. Yum. Yum. Looks like cabbage to me. No, it's the meteor. Guys, there's one vote for Mosquito Lake and two votes for Stinky Forest. Looks like Stinky Forest is the winner. No fair. I'm not going. Does anyone want to change their vote? Like in the next few seconds? Well, we could visit Mosquito Lake every summer. Yes, Morris. That's when the mosquitoes are really biting. Hmm. Please hurry. Well, OK. That's how we voted. Oh, how stinky. I vote we eat this ice cream. I agree. Me too. And every summer, the giants moved their house to Mosquito Lake when the bugs were really biting. Oh, 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 oh. That's a great story, Grandpa. Now I vote for a nap. Meow, too. Nap? I want to play tic-tac-toe. Sorry, Grandpa. That's two votes for a nap and one for tic-tac-toe. The nap wins. Well, OK. <laughs> hey, kittens. How was your day at the park? OK, I guess. What's wrong? Um. A friend of ours just got bullied there. A friend, huh? Shame. Hey, I know a story about a dinosaur who had a problem with a bully. Want to hear it? Yeah, maybe it'll help our friend. What's the name of the story? How to Beat a Bully. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young dinosaur named Trixie who loved going to Dino Land. And riding the dinosaur. Yeah, and it started at the top of a tall snake. 
Look at me! I'm slide. So get off there, pointy nose. What? I said off. Uh, uh. Woohoo! <laughs> I wish I had someone here to protect me. What do you think Trixie should do, kittens? Maybe we can help her, Mom. Yeah, we'll be brave cave cats. And we'll stand up to that dino bully. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! go! Don't cry, Trixie. I'm Cave Kit. And I'm Cave Kate. We're here to protect you from that bully. Really? Really. No oversized lizard is going to tell us what to do. <sighs> yeah. We'll tell him, get lost, you bully. Oh, really? Really. really? Uh... <laughs> Beat it, you undersized furballs. Run for it. Trixie, darling, what's wrong? Did something happen at the dino park? No, Mama. My friends and I just got tired of all the sunshine. Plus, the grass was too green. And we weren't scared by Bart at all. Was this Bart bullying you kids? No. Uh-uh. No way. Well, yeah. He was. He was mean. Shame. Mind if I make a few suggestions? Yes, Mama, please. All right. Number one, play with other kids. Bullies won't approach you if there's a crowd. What else? Ignore Bart's taunts. Don't show him that he's bothering you. Yeah. Anything more? Just look Bart in the eye and say, stop that. We can do that. <laughs> if it isn't Little Miss Triceraflops and her too many mammals, you back for more grief? Stop that! Yeah, that's no way to act. We don't like your behavior. You don't have to talk to me so mean. But you talk mean, Bart, to everyone. Th that's because I've got no friends. No one talks to me or asks me to play. So I gotta scare everyone to get some reaction. Hey, Bart, want to join us in a game of tag? R really? Y you mean it? That would be great. Okay, but only on one condition. Tag, you're it! <laughs> <laughs> Come back here, you guys. Hey, Bart, over here. <laughs> Watch out. I'm going to get you. You can't get me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Whoa. <laughs> tag, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. That was a great story. We want to go back to the playground now. Yeah, we want to try these new ideas on that bully. You mean tell your friend what he can do, right? Uh, right. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> cereal. I want some, too. <sighs> can you get me a bowl, Kit? Okay, but what will you give me? Give you? What do you mean? What will you give me to get you a bowl? Hmm. Here you go, Kate. Thank you, Dad. Hey, did I ever tell you the story about Jackie the Rabbit? No. You want to hear it? Sure. Me too. What's it called? A good day's work. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a rabbit named Jackie who liked to do any kind of odd job. And no job is too odd. One day, Jackie met a sheep. Hello, sheep. Who had a broken leg. Hello, sheep with broken leg. And a pet pig. <coughs> Hello, sheep with broken leg and pet pig. I always take Priscilla for a walk on Mondays, but I can't today. I can do that. Wonderful. What will you give me? Huh? How about... Two carrots. Mm. Shall we? Yeah. 
The next day, Jackie met a hedgehog who needed to make a little grape juice. No! A lot of grape juice! What's the matter? I can't find my grape stomper anywhere, and I've got to crush these grapes for juice. I can do that. What do you give me? Hmm, I don't know. What about... That! That's my pet rock. Perfect! Jackie Rabbit liked any job, as long as she got something for it to put in her bag of stuff. Can you help me? I need to take this book back to the library, but I can't cross the road without a grown-up. And what do I get for it? The book? No, I have to return it. Sorry, kid. Nothing for me, nothing for you. Jackie's bag grew so heavy with the stuff she got for working, she could hardly walk with it. Whoa! Hmm, not good. Jackie Rabbit needs somebody to come along and help her. Like farmers. <gasps> we can be the farmers. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Help! 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 We'll help you, Jackie. Go on, Kate, hurry! Grab the rope! Just hang on! Pull her out, Kit! Uh, thanks. But why did you help me? I didn't give you anything. You gave us plenty. She did? I did? Yeah, you made us feel good. It's true. I do feel good. Of course. It always feels good to help people. You should try it. Uh, how? Well, my back itches. Ah, that feels good. Thank you very much. You know, it does feel good. Can I help you with anything else? We're fine, fine thank, thank you. you. No, thank you. And Jackie set out in search of ways to help others. Jackie, I always take Priscilla skating on Fridays, but... I'm on it! Don't you want carrots first? Uh, no! Thanks! I found my grape stomper, Jackie. But he's stuck. What can I... Don't worry, I got this. Go on! Jump! And from that day on, Jackie Rabbit understood that just helping for the good of others can make you feel good, too. Would you like me to read to you? Sure! Once upon a time, there was a rabbit. That was a great story! Yeah, thanks, Dad. Can I get you a glass of milk? And a cookie? Kate! woo hoo ha, -ha. Want to climb up? Sure, monkey boy. I'm first. Oh! Dad! The treehouse ladder. It broke. Hmm. And busted boards up there, too. We need a new treehouse. You mean we should tear this one down? What else? It's broken. But I thought we were going to make up a story this afternoon. Yeah, one last story before we tear it down. OK, let's make up a story about a monkey. Yeah, yeah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, a giant monkey. Who breaks toys. It was an accident. It's OK, you giant monkey. What should we call our story? I know. Monkey see, monkey break. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a giant monkey named Maxine. Who lived in a regular-sized town. One day, Maxine was playing with her brand new toy airplane. Oh, I broke my plane. By accident. No problem. I'll go to the toy store and get a new toy. See anything you like? But as soon as Maxine got home, she broke that toy, too. Oh, I better tie my shoe. Whoops. It was an accident.
didn't. <laughs> no, Biggie. I'll just go to the toy store and get a new toy. Anything catch your eye? I'll take that. A ball. Now that should last a while. It was an accident. But when the monkey went back to the store and looked inside... Sorry, Maxine, but I've got no toys left. <laughs> What's Maxine going to do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Let's take Maxine one of our toys. Go, go Kitty Kitties, kitties let's go! <laughs> hey there, Maxine. <laughs> we brought you one of our toys to play with. <laughs> really? Wow, thanks. But I gotta warn you, sometimes I'm unlucky with toys. Just be careful. Don't overwind it. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bird. No worries, Maxine. I can fix it. I took a class in carpentry. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's amazing how many things I've broken. No! We're thinking, what if you could fix the toys you broke? Why didn't I think of that? Go for it, Maxine. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Here's your truck. Wow. Good as new! Good job, Maxine! Fixing toys sure makes me feel better than breaking them. See, Dad? We don't need to rip our treehouse down. Right! We can fix it! That's a great idea, kittens! But we really should tear down our house and build a giant castle. Just, Just kidding! kidding. <laughs> 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 All right, time for bed, kittens. Aw, if we were grown-ups, we could stay up late. That would be so much better than being a kid. Wouldn't it be great if there was a machine that could let you change who you are? Hey, why don't we make up a bedtime story about that? Yeah! And I know just what we'll call it, the Changeinator. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an inventor who invented all sorts of things, like a machine... That would tickle you! <laughs> <laughs> and another that could... Eat your vegetables for you! But his greatest invention was the Changeinator which could change you into whatever you want it to be. Yes! Ah, it's finished. Now I just need a couple of guinea pigs. We could be guinea pigs. Or regular pigs. Or aardvarks. Or anything. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi, we'll be your guinea pigs. But actually, we'd prefer to be bats. Great! Yeah, bats can stay up all night. And fly where they want. Then bats it is. Put these on. If you decide you don't like being bats, call out Changeinator and you'll get sent right back here. That'll never happen. Ready? Ready! Wow, we're really bats. And we're really flying. In the middle of the night. Time. I'm hungry. Me too. You're in luck. I made your favorite. What's that? Bugs. What else? Yuck! Yuck. What do 
do you mean yuck? Bats love bugs. Not this bat. Changinator! What? You didn't like being bats? The flying was amazing. But eating bugs? That's gross. Well, would you like to be something else instead? How about fish? Yeah, it'll be awesome to swim underwater. Then fish it is. Ready? Ready. Wow, swimming's even better than flying. <laughs> Your bubble looks like a crab. How about this one? <laughs> a turtle. How about this? Shark. No. Duck. No. No, kid duck. A shark. Ah! Changeinator. Hey, I just cleaned that. I don't want to be a fish. I want to be a skunk. Then skunk it is. You! You stink! I want to be a porcupine! Then porcupine it is! Ow! That hurts! Sorry! I want to be a snake! Then snake it is! Ah! I want to be a tyrant. Wait! There's only enough changeinator juice for one more change! Whatever you become next, that's when you'll stay forever! I want to be kittens. Ah, good choice. Kittens it is. And so Kit and Kate turned back into kittens and landed safely in their own beds. Their warm, comfy beds. Yeah. Sure you don't want to switch places with me? I'll go to sleep, and you can stay up late to do the laundry and dishes. Sounds really fun, Mom. But we'll just dream about it instead. Chugga 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 chugga. Kittens! My friend's going to be here soon, and she's bringing her little boy Nicholas. I'm sure he would love to play trains together with you. Uh, but what if he breaks them? He can play with this bear. Or how about we make up a story that you could tell Nicholas? It could be called The Host with the Most. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a lucky pup who lived in a super cool mansion. And one day, he got a letter from two of his best friends saying they were planning to visit him. Oh, we'll have so much fun! be his friends. And play all day in his cool house. Cool. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! There you are. What took so long? Come on in. Mmm, something smells good. I made us lunch. Ooh, fish. It looks so delicious. Oh, no, that's for me. Those are for you. Have as much as you want. You don't have any more fish? Of course! Halibut, sea bass, and tuna. Can we have some? Well, no. That's mine for tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and the day after that. Aww. <clears throat> that was delicious. Now, let's go play. But... Wow! You have your own racetrack? It must be so much fun. It is. Do you want to see how much fun it is? Sure. Yeah. Great. Then watch me. Oh, we must be taking turns. Well, what do you think? It's awesome. It sure is. Oh, when is it our turn? And the winner is... What? Me? I don't believe it! Pop! What? 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 Oh, of course! You must be tired from all this excitement. Time for a nap. Whoa! What a great room for a nap! That's the biggest bed I've ever seen! I can't wait to sleep! Oh, no, 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 no! This is my room. Yours is next door. Ah! What a surprise. It's okay, Kate. 
How bad can it be? Pretty bad. <laughs> That's it. I've had enough. Yeah, let's go. Hey, you really know how to power nap. No, we're leaving. Oh, but why? We had such a great day. Maybe you did, but we didn't. Here's what you wanted us to eat. Oh. Here's what we didn't do. Uh. And here's where you wanted us to sleep. Ah! Oh, 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 I'm such a silly sausage. I was so busy enjoying myself, I wasn't thinking about whether you were having fun. I'm so sorry. Please stay and let me show you how much fun you can have here. Please, 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 please. Okay. And so, the pup tried again. Bon appetit! Fish! Yummy! But this time, he made sure that everything they did was fun for all of them, not just himself. Watch me! Woo! And the winner is... us! And much to the pup's surprise, he found that sharing his favorite things actually made him feel better than having them all to himself. <sighs> Nighty night. Sweet dreams. What a great day. Great story, Mom. I'm sure Nicholas would like it. But he'd probably like playing with our new trains a lot more. Won't be needing you. Aw, I'll fix you up. We're going to have so much fun. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, kittens, snow. Hooray. Can we build a snowman? Well, there's not nearly enough snow for that right now. But can we build it when there is enough? Sure, after we shovel. We don't want to get stuck in the house, do we? Aw, making a snowman is much more fun than shoveling. How about we make up a story until there's enough snow outside? All right, about a gopher. Who got stuck in his house. Great idea, and I know just what to call it. Gopher help. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, in an old, hollowed-out tree, lived a gopher named Chompers. Oh, no! Oh, no! Chompers needed help because something was wrong with his... His nose! No, his toes! No, it's my television! It's broken! Won't somebody help me fix it? We can help Chompers. Yeah, we'll be the fix-it kitties if we can't fix it. It's totally kaput! <laughs> go, kitty kitties, let's go! The Fix-It Kitties. At your service. Hurry, my TV stopped working, and my favorite show's about to begin. Well, let's take a look. Oh, please, Harry! Aha! Uh -huh. This vine was growing inside your TV. Oh, you fixed it. Of course. We're the Fix-It Kitties. <laughs> I love those little ducks. <laughs> the very next day, while the kitties were busy fixing things at their repair shop... Fix-It Kitties, if we can't fix it... Hurry, my TV won't work again. Chompers, we'll be right there. Come on, Kate. Sounds like another TV emergency at Chompers. I thought we fixed that. Thank goodness you're here. I can't reach the remote. Um, I think your problem is these vines. I probably should get rid of them, but I don't want to miss my favorite show. Please hurry. Wow, do these vines grow fast. Uh, chop it, Chompers. Got it! Kit, I'll stay here with Chompers and get these vines cut down. Great! I'll go back to the fix-it shop in case someone else needs our help. Whoa! <laughs> Those ducks are funny. Hey, I had a hat. No sooner had Kit gotten back to the shop when... Fix it, kitties. If we can't fix... Ah! Kit, you gotta come!
come help us. Kate, we're stuck. Chompers? Someone got to come help us out. Hang on. Oh, no. Kate, I thought you were going to help Chompers cut these vines. I just wanted to watch the ducks first. <laughs> Weren't they funny? Yeah, but it isn't very funny now. Hey, that's enough playing around. It's time for the Fix-It Kitties to fix things. <laughs> Kate, get out! <laughs> the Fix-It Kitties kept working and working until they were finally done. And from then on, Chompers made sure his vines were cut before he had fun watching his favorite show. Open wide, Chompers! <laughs> now hand me that remote. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun story! Look at all that snow, Mom! Who wants to build a snowman? We do! But, but first... first we, we have, have to, to shovel. shovel. <laughs> <laughs>